Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to compare two processors, the 386DX40 against the 46SX25. Very often you come across reports that the uh, 386DX40 is meant to be just as fast as the S625, so that's what we're going to look at. The two systems we're going to use, on the 386 we've got the FX3000 motherboard with 256K cache, and on the 486 we've got a Biostar motherboard, the same amount of cache uh, storage controller, is a Gold Star Prime 2 on the 386, whereas on the 486 we've got a UMC based local bus controller. Both graphi uh, bo both have the Tang ET4000 graphics card uh, for ISA, it's really really fast. I tried the local bus card in the 486, it didn't really make much difference. Here we got a 2GB compact flash card, um, FAT16, formatted with MS-DOS 6.22, and I also use my floppy emulator very handy this product uh, I've got like 30 floppy images on that USB and no issues nothing is lost no corruption okay here we go first benchmark we get 9.33 for the 386 and 9.19 for the 486 so pretty much even and then we got here 43.2 4386 against 54 so we can see the 486 has a bit of a lead here uh, next up is the Landmark 2, we get a score of 62, and here we get a score of 84. Not quite sure why the screen is red, if you know, let me know. Okay, here we go, Th uh, 3D Bench 16.6 .6 frames, whereas on the 486 we get 18.5, so yeah, quite a bit faster. And on the uh, PC Player Benchmark we get 3.6 compared to 4.0. Alrighty, no benchmark is a benchmark without Doom, so here we have a head-to-head -head of the Doom uh, time demo on the left side of 386, on the right side the 486, and we can quickly see that the 486 starts to pull away. Um, I must say that in Doom I saw the biggest difference in terms of performance. Um, I did the numbers and in the uh, benchmarks the 486 is usually around 20% faster but in Doom um, it's around 40-50% faster so quite a quite a big difference. Um, I, don't, I don't have really any other other games to, to uh, test that have a built-in benchmark. Quake doesn't run on a uh, on, on, on these computers and needs a needs a, a maths, maths processor. Um, so yeah what's the conclusion? Um, can the 386-40 keep up with the uh, 486-SX25? In my opinion, uh, no. But the gap is not massive. We're talking uh, between 20, 20 to 40 percent, depending on what you do. Um, back in the day, if you had the choice, uh, it it probably came down to price. So, if you could save a couple hundred bucks by going with the 386, yeah, you might have um, you might have gone with the 386. On the other side, the 486, um, you can get a a clock double chip like a DX250 and then you you have a significantly significantly faster uh, processor so it's really hard to say back in the day which way um, uh, you should have gone but I have to say that the 386 system I've got is very very fast it's pretty much as fast as it gets so uh, just keep that in mind and the 46 it's it's a very basic local bus uh, motherboard nothing fancy it does use a 30 pin sim so there are faster 486 motherboards out there, so if I if I would have used my uh, PCI best PCI based uh, BioStar motherboard, then maybe the benchmarks would have would have been even even faster. Um, also, with the video card, the local bus video card um, gives you a few frames extra in 3D bench, but not much. And I didn't really want to use PCI and local bus too much because back in the day when you had the choice between a 386 and a 486, um, uh, the 486 systems were really early, so I don't think they had local bus. I think they were purely uh, ISA and there wasn't much choice. So the 486 um, is about to finish. So. Um, the way the benchmarks works, at the end you get uh, two numbers and you have to take the first number multiply it with 35 and then divide it by the uh, second number and that gives you a, a benchmark score of 12.88 um, 
And so we're just gonna wait for the 386. I can keep the score already, it'll be 8.73, so quite a difference. And that's pretty much from me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I think this answers the question, uh, which one is the 386DX40 able to keep up with the 486SX25? In my opinion, uh, no it's not, but the difference is not that, uh, that great. Okay, thanks for watching the video and see you soon.